Hey friend, John McLennan here. And in this video, I wanna share with you some strategies and some note for note licks that you can use for improvising over the song Lay Down Sally as recorded by Eric Clapton. Now in this song, the guitar solo section actually just plays over an A chord. It's an A, what we call a vamp, where you just stay on that chord and Eric Clapton does some great improvisations. Now in this video, I'm gonna explain these ideas and tactics so that you can not only jam along with the recordings and play along with Eric Clapton, but also learn how to improvise your own solos as well. So let's get straight into it. Now keep in mind in this video, I'm not gonna be talking much about the rhythm. I do have a separate video that I already posted on my channel where you can learn to play the rhythm but we're gonna be going over that first part, the A chord that we used in the verse where we went. So that's what we're soloing over. And again, it's all over an A chord. Here is the first lick. A one, two, three, four. So Clapton isn't really sticking to one scale here, but of course at the core of all of this would be the blues scale here. And you wanna make sure you know this pattern at the fifth fret. Now we're gonna start on the fifth fret of the first string. We're gonna walk down five, then eight on the second string, then seven, then five. Then we'll finish that first measure with a bend bending up the seventh fret on the third string. So it's gonna go. And you can see he's already breaking the rules and not following just one scale. So that's five, eight, seven, five, seven. Then we'll go five, seven, seven, five, seven, five, seven. That's on the fourth string there, that last seven, five, seven. So it's. So that's the first part of this lick and I'm gonna walk you through the rest of it and some more tactics. But before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, I wanna give you a gift right away. Let me ask you, have you ever struggled getting your guitar in tune without a tuner? I know for me, this is something that I struggled with for way too long. It wasn't until I discovered a way of tuning the guitar to itself that just makes it so much easier to do. In fact, if you go to Google or you go to YouTube and you just type in how to tune a guitar, all the methods you're gonna see are not what I use. And so what I did was put together just a simple five step secret tuning method guide. It details out these five steps on how you can learn to get your guitar in tune right away without a tuner. And I wanna give this to you completely for free. And once you start applying these steps, if you've tried tuning by ear before and struggled, that's exactly where I was, and I wanna show you how I overcame that with just these five simple steps. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash tuning, and you can download it right there as my gift to you and always get your guitar right in tune without a tuner. All right, so walking down, we have five, eight, seven, five, seven with a bend. Five, seven, seven, five, seven, five, seven. Now I wanna point out something here. A lot of times when Clapton plays this note at the fifth fret of the third string, he pushes it up a little bit. And that's the note C. It's actually what we call a blue note in the blues scale. So we actually just push it up pretty often. So. Right there. Then we continue with. So that is seven on the fourth string three times. Then five, seven on the third string with a bend. Then we grab five on the second string, five on the first string, eight on the second string, 
bend seven on the third string and then finish on five of the first string. And Clapton would do this all the time, those last couple notes. In fact, you hear him play that in Crossroads, the solo that he did with Cream live. So all together, the lick is gonna go three, four, one. Next, we'll bring in a little bit of rhythm from my looper pedal. And again, this is the rhythm part that we played in the other video. Here's what it sounds like all together. One, two, three, four. Example number two gets almost a little jazzier sounding. We're gonna start out on the fifth fret of the second string and go five, then eight on the first string, five, seven, five, then eight, seven on the second string. So it's gonna go one. Then five, seven on the third string. Then we do a pre-bend. And that's bending up the seventh fret of the third string, releasing it down, and then the fifth fret with a little pull, seven on the fourth string. Then roll your finger over, grab seven on the third string, five on the third string with a pull, then seven on the fourth string, seven on the fifth string, back to seven on the fourth string. Then we'll end with five, seven on the fourth string, then on the third string, seven, five. So. All together, one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Four and. Now all together with the backing, it could sound like this. One, two, three, four. And for our third and final lick, this one's a little easier. We're gonna move higher up the neck. One, two, three, four. So I'm starting out bending the third string 12th fret. Then go 10, 13, 10 on the second string. You could use index to pinky or you could use index to ring. Then bend that 12th fret of the third string and then play 10 again on the second string. Now the first bend is a little longer and the second bend is a little shorter. Here's what it sounds like with the rhythm. One, two, three, four. So practice those three licks and see if you can drop them in and work them into your guitar solos. And you're taking a little piece of what I call the blues language or Eric Clapton style and working it into your own solos. And this is what all the great players have done. They looked to other players, they stole ideas, and then it became their influences. So have fun jamming on this song and to really put this together anywhere on the neck, grab my fretboard guide at the link in the description or just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide. This is gonna show you the five chords and scales I use to map out the entire fretboard. If you wanna play along with classic Eric Clapton songs or blues songs, 
and be able to improvise freely anywhere on your instrument, this is going to be your guide. So again, just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or click the first link down below as my gift to you. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And for more blues soloing, check out this video next.